My name is Liz McDonald and I'm the owner of Brazilian Yoga and Pilates here in Los Angeles and also the creator of 420 Yoga. In 420 Yoga, we encourage people to go inside, maybe to new frontiers where they haven't gone before. We do not use cannabis on the premises, but for people who are patients, they can choose to medicate before if they like and just feel free to do yoga in a place where they won't be judged. I'm not high, but I kind of feel like it. Before this became a group class, many of my private students are patients and they chose to do so. And when they did so, I could kind of cut through all of the skepticism and just get right into working the energetic body as well. I could imagine that um, it could be quite fantastic. I mean, I think anything that's meant to loosen up your mind muscles while at the same time loosening up your body muscles would probably be a good thing. The idea certainly isn't novel. It seems almost something that is organic yet hidden. The basic idea is it just sort of helps with the same goals you have for meditation. It stills your mind, helps you be still and find a stillness in the mind, you know. I mean, the Yoga Sutras say that yoga is the cessation of the turnings of the mind. It's to be able to find that stillness, and yoga does that. Cannabis really combines well with it. I think that patients seek out the class for community and because also it shows them something that they can do um, with it because there's also this sort of stigma that oh like if you if you smoke or if you're using cannabis you're not going to be doing anything you're just going to be wasting away on the couch eating ho-hos until you die <laughs> and so they come in here and they discover that that's not the truth being healthy and using cannabis do not have to be uh, mutually exclusive. I don't smoke at all, so I, I, it's not for me. It's not about that. Actually, the first time I came to 420 Yoga, I was said, "So why is it 420? Why isn't it 430?" <laughs> she said, "Because 420 is happy hour in Jamaica." And I went, "Oh, I get it." A lot of times in yoga, people feel that they won't be accepted for who they are. They think it's just for the skinny girls in spandex. And I know a lot of people have come to me after class and said. I didn't think yoga was for me until I did your class, and now I really love it. <laughs>